Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a little bit of everything. I've got some cleaning motivation, a couple of home updates, and just me getting started to tackle my day. I've got a lot going on. I'll be heading to pick up Pacey. He's out of town for school, so I've got a three and a half hour drive ahead of me and then just like a really busy day and I just wanted to give you guys that motivation if you have a lot on your plate so that you guys can get stuff done if you are new to my channel my name is Amanda and this is my channel Amanda's daily home where I like to share videos on all sorts of different motivation it used to be like just cleaning motivation but as life gets busier with the kids and sports and all sorts of stuff going on I just like to basically say it's life motivation honestly it just like gets you through the day especially when you have like so many th different things on your plate so as you can see I'm just getting started I brought my computer into the bathroom area where my vanity is because Jeff is sleeping in the bedroom and I just want to open up my computer check my emails really quick and this is kind of like a quiet spot where nobody else is up so I just kind of pinned my hair back after I brushed it set out my outfit for the day um, I did my face wash a little bit of toner I forgot to film that part and then I just put on my face serum. This is the May Love The Glow Serum. That's what it's called and I really love it. I ordered it online and it's got like vitamin C and whatever else in there, but that is what I use in the morning and it just gives me that kind of like dewy glow. And I'm just putting a little bit of concealer on as well because honestly, I just look so exhausted. So I need a little bit of cover up under my eyes. And if you really want to look nicely put together, it's always good to pick out your matching jewelry for your outfit. So today I'm just wearing my little hockey earrings and necklace. I love those. I always get compliments on them. So if you want to know where I got them, I got them from YFN.com. These earrings are sterling silver, same with the matching necklace. And I will show you um, the other items that I ordered because I ordered a few things from there. That way I have an assortment of jewelry that I can wear with my different outfits. I'm actually so excited to show you guys this one. This one is so adorable and is like the best keepsake ever. It is a heart locket with these beautiful pink crystals on it. It is so intricate and pretty looking. When you open the locket, there is a photo. And then on the back, it's engraved. It says, my boys. And then on the inside, I have a photo of my four boys. And I just love this. Every time I wear this necklace, they come up to me and they just want to open it up and look at the photo. It is so cute. And YFN can personalize so many different pieces of jewelry that they have on their website. So this locket is just one of many different choices they have. And here's just a quick shot of the pieces that I did order from them. All of their pieces are high quality, like they're either sterling silver or gold plated. Um, I really wanted to get a new name necklace. My old one just got tarnished. It was just a cheap one. So I got a new one and that one has my birthstone on it. This one I got for Halloween because it is a little kitty with a pumpkin. And then these I cannot wait to wear in the winter. They're those crawler earrings. There's a snowflake and then it crawls up your ear and then there's like this little white gem in there. It is so pretty. And I will make sure that I link all of those down below in the description box for you guys in case you guys liked any of my pieces or wanted to check out any of the other pieces they have on their website. And I also have a coupon code for you guys. It's 25% off and it's code Amanda. I will have all of those links and the coupon code down below in the description box for you guys. But right now I have to get going to go to get pacey it's going to take me about three hours to get there so i just want to quickly make my bed i'm just putting my socks on and getting ready to run out the door it is still really early in the morning jeff's already gone to work so i won't be able to pick him up very often once hockey season officially starts for the high school season but this is my hockey mom outfit for the day i'm really cozy i'm going to be driving so i wanted to be comfortable it is cold and foggy outside this is our construction zone neighborhood there's like no landscaping anywhere in sight everything's just kind of gravel 
but I'm sure it's gonna look great once all the houses are built and everybody's done all of their outdoor work. All right, so this is me just about to hit the road. I'm basically gonna just fast forward to after I've picked up Pacey. I also picked up a couple of packages from the border package collection place where I get some of my packages shipped to. I have Pacey's laundry bag there because we just brought his laundry to do at home instead of doing it at the dorms because he's home for the weekend anyways. And I am so excited because the packages I picked up were my lighting for the kitchen so i've been waiting to get lighting in here for so long i'm so excited to share this with you guys it's gonna look so much cozier and better in here it just felt like such a big empty space so i just unpackaged everything because jeff is at hockey right now so i'm gonna get everything ready for him to install when he gets home So I got pretty much all of my lighting in my house from Parrot Uncle. They are a fantastic lighting company. Their prices are super affordable and I have loved all of their lighting, like 100% honest. If you need any lighting, check out their website for anything that you might like because I highly recommend them. This particular lighting fixture that I ordered is the Five Light Modern black and gold crystal chandelier it says black and gold on the listing but you have your selection you can choose black or you can choose gold which was like such a toss-up for me because I was wondering if I should go with something bold and get the black color in here but ultimately I chose the gold I love it it looks great now that it is up I'll show you guys in a second and the price point on these can't be beat honestly I checked Home Depot I checked Lowe's I shopped around for lighting for a while and everything was so expensive. So it was a, a really nice change to be able to save some money on our lighting budget because we basically blew our budget on everything else. So, so that was really nice. And then I also got the wall sconce. That one I wanted to have above our floating shelves. I wanted it to kind of like shine down to feature, kind of like highlight any like home decor that I have on there. And so this light is the One Light Rem Brass Wall Sconce. So the pricing on this, you guys won't even believe it. I'm telling you, <laughs> check out their website. I don't think I've ever seen a light fixture at such a great price and it looks so nice. Anyhow, now that Jeff is home and he's installing the lights, I have to make a quick dinner over here in the corner. I just had to chop up a couple of peppers and some garlic. So that got done over there. We had to hurry because Jeff had to go back to the rink. So now he's gone to the rink. I am just tidying up a little bit in the living room. I know this looks totally awful, but my cats keep trying to scratch the couches. I even tried the little nail caps on them and the one cat she just like is a little brat about it and i have like two nails left to put on like nail caps left to put on and she's just not having it so for now i just want to keep them covered because they are leather and it's impossible to fix and i have a couple tiny scratch marks on them already so i just want to protect it until i can order something online i know they have like clear covers for the corners i don't know what the solution is but i'm not taking any chances so just for now i'm throwing the blankets over it not going to stay that way but like i said i just have to figure something out um so i'm just wiping down the table kind of straightening up in here i like to go on youtube and search up fall scenery and then in the background i have playing like a fall scene it's like this cute little cottage on a lakefront with a bonfire burning it's just a nice little ambiance to add while I'm cleaning so now I'm just basically going to run into the kitchen and put everything away there's just clutter all over the counters there's some like little tools and wires and stuff like that so I'll just have everything ready to go for when Jeff gets home um, if he wants to put it up he can put it up otherwise it'll just have to wait till tomorrow
and the kitchen's pretty much straightened up. I'm just going to sit down for a few minutes and finish up my online grocery order. The kids and Jeff will be home any minute now, so I just wanted to take a minute to relax and enjoy the tidied up living room before they get home. So here is Jeff. He's home. He wanted to get the lights up. He was excited to see what it looked like. So he installed the first one and now he's putting up the second one. It looks so much better in here already. I cannot wait to get other things done in here. And the next thing I really want to get done actually is the backsplash, but he's just going to do one thing at a time as we can do it since we're so busy. One of the things I really tried to do when planning out the lighting for the island was research like how far apart they should be, how far from the edges they should be, how much they like how low they hang from the ceiling or how high they are from the countertop. So I did all of that and I really love where they ended up. I was kind of worried that it wasn't low enough, but at the same time I really don't want it to block my vision like into the living room. So I think this height is perfect. I think we ended up going 38 inches above the countertop and I think it recommended 32 to 36 but that was a little bit low for me and I'm a little bit taller than average like I'm almost 5'7 not super tall but um, if I was shorter maybe it would be okay but I just didn't want it to like obstruct my vision into the living room and of the tv because sometimes I like to have the tv on when I'm cooking in the kitchen and stuff like that so I think it's perfect where it is. All right, now that the two island lights are up, we're gonna go ahead and put up the wall sconce. So I'm just over here kind of handing Jeff the tools he needs to get this installed. And this light was actually super quick and easy to install. So here it is. Got a stupid fly <laughs> flying around. There's like one or two of them left. Um, I cannot wait to get the floating shelves up in here just so it can like shine the light down on the decor on the, that I put on the floating shelves. It's going to look so nice. I like to turn that light on like in the evenings or in the early morning when it's really dark just for a little bit of accent lighting in the kitchen when we really don't need to have the lights on but you just want a little bit of a glow in there. All right, now this is the next day that I'm showing you. I just wanted to get the kitchen all straightened up because now that the lights are up, I just want it nice and clean. I wanna see how it all looks. I also have blinds on order for those gigantic windows in my kitchen. So it's gonna be so much better once we have the blinds up. And the reason I really wanted those blinds was because in the summertime it was getting so hot and there was like way too much sunlight coming in in the late afternoon and in the evening but I mean now summer is over so we don't need to worry about that till next year but the big windows still give off or they still allow a lot of cold air to basically come in just from the big windows and the glass because obviously we are up north and it gets really cold here in the winter so it'll be nice just to pull down the blinds and just kind of block some of that coldness from coming through the kitchen. And the other thing I can't remember if I told you guys, but we painted the door in the kitchen there, the door that was just in the last shot. Um, that was the first door that we painted in the house. All of the other doors are just primed right now. So I chose the color Revere Pewter for the interior doors and the jam and trim around the doors. But the actual trim in the house is going to be white. I think we ended up picking Snowbound for the white trim, but like I said, the doors are gonna be like that beigey gray and we love the way it turned out. At this point in the video, I'm just unloading the dishwasher. I just want to make sure all of the counters are cleaned off and the sink is nice and empty so I can actually enjoy the kitchen and really see how everything is coming together without all this clutter in the way. I really still need to get some drawer organizers. I've got utensils all over the place. One of the kids unloaded the dishwasher last time, so he put some of the wrong utensils in the drawer. Honestly, not a big deal, but... Um, I just need a better system going in here. I usually put the cooking utensils closer over to where the stovetop is. So that would be in the cabinet um, by the stove. So the cabinet over here, this big large one, that's more for 
um, like eating utensils like forks, knives, spoons, um, straws and things like that. So I just need to get some of those little clear dividers so that everything has a spot. So I've been planning out some of my content for the next few weeks. I know it's been kind of like a little bit crazy in my household since we are still trying to finish our house and we're juggling sports and stuff like that. But I wanted to get into a little bit more of a homemaking routine and I wanted to start incorporating some like DIY crafting videos here on my channel. So if you're interested in seeing any kind of videos like that, let me know in the comments below. I would love to do some like Christmas DIYs and stuff like that. As you can see in the background, I actually have like one piece of Christmas decor up and it's not that I pulled it out. I just bought it at the store the other day. So I just put it on the counter and didn't really bother putting it away because it is almost time to decorate for Christmas. And speaking of decorating for Christmas, I mentioned in one of my previous videos that I had to clean out my storage unit. Well, that is where all of my Christmas decorations are and we lost the key for our storage unit. So I need to get bolt cutters to cut the lock off and go empty out that storage unit. I don't know if we're going to be able to get it done over the winter. I really want to because I don't want to pay storage unit fees all winter long, but it's going to be such a pain to clean that out with snow and cold weather. I really wish we would have done done that during the fall because the weather would it would have been perfect. You wouldn't have to worry about bugs or the weather being too hot. So just time gets away from us. We have a busy lifestyle and it's just like there is never enough time to get everything done. And you guys, I have something else really exciting that I've been working on. I mentioned this like a long time ago on my channel, but I finally have made progress on it. I did start creating a course to teach some of you guys how to get started on your own YouTube channel so you can have some more uh, time and income if you guys are looking for a side hustle or maybe you want to turn it into a full-time job. That's what I was able to do. Thank goodness. It just gives me so much more time with the kids and juggling their crazy schedules. And I've had a few of you guys um, message me, DM me, whether on Instagram or on here, you know, some questions about starting up yourselves. So if any of you out there are interested, just leave me a comment down below and I can always answer any of your questions or just kind of help you get started. All right, so the dishwasher is loaded and I had no dishwasher tabs left. So I had to just load it and close the door and I'll just have to run out tomorrow morning and grab some. But as you can see, I'm just washing a couple of dishes that are in the sink here. And my white pan looks horrific, you guys. Like I cannot get that pan white ever again, but its functionality is still 100% perfect. It just looks terrible. I would love to switch it out. That pan is like... A set of those caraway pans that I featured a long time ago they are fantastic pans they are great quality but I don't recommend getting the white if you cannot follow the directions that they set out for you because there's very specific directions so that you keep the pan like in pristine shape like you're not supposed to go over um, medium temperature like it can't get too hot you're not supposed to use any cooking spray or oil um, Anyways, so my recommendation is if you are careless with your pans and you just like cook with them, don't get those pans. Even though I really do love them, they will look terrible. They did have black though, so I wonder if black would hold up a lot better because then you wouldn't see all of these stains. I'd be really curious to know, but the white is just all stained now. But I still love the way it cooks.
And then of course I have some of our custom travel mugs that don't go in the dishwasher. And of course, sometimes since my dad lives with us, he will load the dishwasher, but he doesn't really pay attention to what goes in the dishwasher and what doesn't. So I typically try to catch them right away and wash them before he gets a chance to put it through the dishwasher. All right guys, so my air fryer dishes are the last couple of things that I need to wash. So now I'm just rinsing out the sink. There's a lot of food debris in here. So we're just gonna get that all gathered up, throw it into the trash, and then we will go ahead and scrub the kitchen sink. So I'm just using this scrub brush. I just picked it up from the dollar store. I haven't had one in a few months. I don't know why I didn't replace my last one. And honestly, I don't know why I didn't get one. It is so handy for everything. I use it for dishes. If you have like hard stuck on food or even just like scrubbing the sink, etc. So definitely handy for using to clean out the sink because I was using the scrub daddy and it just didn't work as well. That should just be used for dishes um okay so now we are done in the kitchen it is pretty tidy so this is my dining room well eating area light i love that light that one was also from parrot uncle and then these are my new lights i got the light bulbs put in i think it looks so nice in here it just really warms up the space we've got the wall sconce i cannot wait to see how it looks once we get the floating shelves put up in here we still need to get one more light for the corner here. This will be a pendant light. So right now it doesn't look too great because it's just a bunch of wires. And that's basically it. There's my painted door. Things are coming along in here. Still got a little bit of a mess over there down the hallway because I've got some appliances and stuff I have to go through for donation. But these lights look fantastic. I just can't stop looking at this space. It's really coming along. I love it. So that is it for today's video, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing a couple little updates in our new house. I hope you got some cleaning motivation from it. Now I'm just shutting down the house for the night. I would leave the little wall sconce light on there, but everyone's gone to bed now anyways. So I'm just going to save some energy and just turn the light off and head up to bed. If you guys liked my video, give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you guys are subscribed and hit that little notification bell so you guys don't miss any of my future videos. And I'll see you guys next time in the next video. Bye!